All right, today we're going to talk about uh, paracord and uh, some of the uh, debunk some myths. Um, not only that, we're going to talk in detail about the differences between um, your basic paracords you find, uh, say, at uh, Army Surplus um, and Walmart and things like that, and the impossible to find, obviously not impossible because you see it here, um, but the very hard to find real deal eight strand, yes, you heard that, eight strand uh, military paracord. So let's in the beginning talk about uh, how paracord is designed. So I'm going to go ahead and take apart one of these. Um, basically, inside you have, uh, it is basically a sheath, and inside this, uh, this sheath, you have uh, seven inner strands and the typical paracord is going to have seven strands on the inside. This is kind of melted on the end but we're going we're to pop it off there and show you all seven strands. So um, I don't know if you can make that out but that is, I'm going to try to get them separated for you. Uh, that is seven strands so let's see here. That is one, two, three, four, these two stuck together here are going to give me trouble and five and six and then seven okay and most of your what's known as the real paracord is seven strands all right and there's your seven strand paracord right there that's the standard what people think is real uh paracord and it is real paracord um but this is not the real deal military uh like if you were to uh uh get a paratrooper on the front lines and uh cut open his uh his parachute pack and uh and see what he had tying his parachute together it is not that um it is something a little bit more like this um this is the military issue uh, real deal stuff, um, eight strand. If you could feel this, you can feel there's a different construction. I'm going to break this down a little farther and show you why that construction feels different. But you notice there's eight strands there. You've got seven white ones and you've got one colored one here. Okay. And that colored one, um, that is a, a an indicator, some sort of code indicator to show, to tell you, um, uh, sort of like the serial number for this uh, for this for the military now uh, moving on to the inside we're gonna we're gonna talk about the cheap stuff here for a second ironically enough this uh, the bad stuff here the cheap stuff was purchased at uh, army surplus and they sell the fakest junkiest paracord I've ever seen in my life so we're gonna bust this open here and, and talk about why why it's junk you already see the difference um, but number one uh, on the outside it doesn't look much different other than we've got three different colors here on the inside there's four strands not seven like the good stuff four you can tell by that with with just through the camera that these are fluffy thin junk nylon type of type of uh, stuff these almost don't even break down into anything and that's the next level of what makes this paracord better than this paracord which obviously this is this is terrible bottom of the line junk so when you get a paracord bracelet this is what they make it out of this is actually 450 not 550 and it's even imitation 450 okay so uh, the 450 would be similar to this the real stuff obviously but it'll be uh, less strands and a little smaller now uh, if I try to unwind this which I'm having trouble doing um, you can see that it breaks up into two pieces that are twisted amongst each other all right that's one strand that I broke up two pieces twisted the uh, what people think is good paracord also only has two but you notice that it comes apart real easy and it's not all frayed and uh, separating this would be would be cake compared to, uh, to to separating this fuzzy stuff over here all right um, if we didn't have it uh, burned on the ends making all this difficult we should have cut these before the video um, instead of burned uh, burning is the way to go guys when you want to seal the ends um, but uh, to, to fray them open and stuff go ahead and cut um, I should have thought about that before I did this I know this but that's you know uh, actually, I made that mistake on purpose so that you guys at home could learn. Uh, <clears throat> uh, anyways, so you see this only breaks down into two. Now, these are real good for things like um, 
uh, flossing your teeth, uh, uh, needle and thread, things like that. Super strong for its size. Tinsel strength is ridiculous for their size. This is quality paracord, guys. It really is. Um, but you notice it's seven strands and they break down into two. Uh, this is eight strands and they break down into three. And not only do they break down into three, it's three that are a little bit smaller than each one of these two are. So things like flossing your teeth, fishing line, uh, all of your thready type of uh, uses um, that you would use a fishing line or thread for, this would be better for. And just as strong as one of those. Um, and it has three wrapped up in each one of these eight. Okay, so that is... Guys, this is so strong, one of these right here. Like, I'm not going to say that it could hold me, but, like, that's really, really strong. I guarantee you one of these can hold me. Um, and I bet you the sheath can hold me as well. The beautiful thing about this, look at uh, my boot there real quick. I've got these uh, real deal uh, eight strand on my boots. And so what you can do is you don't even have to sacrifice your laces, man. You can just take the strand out. If you can see what I'm doing there, you just take the sheath off, relace your boots with the sheath. And you have all of this good stuff on the inside here that you get to use for free hidden up inside your boot. You've got all this cordage. Um, and uh, you can obviously braid this, make net out of this, all of the, I don't have to give you a speech on what cordage is used for, guys. For Brazilians of years, people have been using cordage to make all kinds of crazy stuff. So um, do you some cordage, uh, some paracord research, whatever you want to do with the, the weaving and the braiding and the whatever. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, we've got... Uh, We've got three different types of paracord, um, absolute trash, really good stuff, and the top of the line, very difficult to find unless you have a uh, prefix such as sergeant. Um, so there it is. Thanks for watching.